when it comes to house meetings these days, um, I try not to even um, get involved because I realize that there is just so much disruption. It's never been like this, Courtney. Um, every single time that a member on our side gets up to speak, the leader of the opposition disrupts continuously. And so it's not conducive to discussing the people's business, to always be interrupting speakers. And so on that particular day, the um, Speaker of the House rightfully um, put a warning and said, you're continuously doing this. Let us try to respect others because when the leader of the opposition is speaking, nobody interrupts him, you know. He's allowed to speak freely and express his point of view. I don't, I don't know why that respect is not mutual or reciprocated to our side. And so after that was done, um, while I was speaking, he got up, did not have a point of order. He's saying now that it's elucidation, but he did not express what his point of order was. And in fact, became very disrespectful to the speaker. No, he's just chalking it up and saying, oh, he's saying that the speaker is PUP. He's trying to downplay what in actuality the effect of what he was saying, because what he was insinuating is that the speaker is biased and he is calling the are calling into question the integrity and reputation of the chair. That is essentially what he was doing. And that has never been done in the seven years that I've been a part of the House of Representatives. We've always had respect for the previous Madam Speaker, but for whatever reason, and then he tried to hide it on top of that to compound what he has already done in calling into question the Speaker's integrity. He then tried to lie and say, I did not say that. You could just look at the clip and he was trying to deny that because he knew exactly what he was doing. And so it is very unfortunate, like I said, and perhaps it's, perhaps it's just part of the learning curve because he is a first time era rep, but he's the leader of the opposition and a lot more is expected out of him in terms of his professionalism and his respect for the Speaker of the House. So I'm hoping that moving forward, um, these types of disruptions can, can come to an end and we can have that respect because like I said, we always sit there and listen to what he has to say, many times not making any sense, many times not reading the laws that are presented to him, but we still, listen, we still sit there and listen to him. So that is all that we're expecting, professionalism, and that he respects our side as well. Sir, the cadence of your comments seem to suggest that there is a sense of frustration with these interruptions, isn't there? Obviously, because you cannot have a productive meeting, you're discussing very important bills that will affect each and every Belizean. You're at home watching this on TV, you would want to hear what different members have to say. And so if we've heard the opposition say, that's wonderful, we've heard why you're opposing it, but let the government also have a say, why is it that only you get to speak all the time and interrupt all the time? That's totally unnecessary. And so there is that level of frustration because every time one of us get, gets up to make a point, there is an interruption. So it, it is getting frustrating and certainly discouraging.